Linda Meldon grew up in Stratford, Ontario. Throughout her career, she has excelled at every level of volleyball interaction that she has been a part of. From a player, to coach, and on to administrator, Linda has found ways to influence the game of volleyball in Ontario. Linda got her start playing club volleyball. With the Stratford Stingers, she would win a provincial title and be named to the Region 3 team, before moving on to Stratford Central High School, where she would be part of three OFSA championships. It was at this point that she was noticed at the provincial level and named to Team Ontario for the 1987 National Team Challenge Cup in Saskatoon. Linda attended York University from the fall of 1989 to the spring of 1994 and earned an Honours Bachelor of Science degree. As part of a powerhouse team, she would win OUA Gold in each of her five seasons she played and National Championship Bronze in 1990 and 1991. Under the guidance of Merv Mosher and later Hernan Humania, the team dominated with a 49-1 league record play over her career. Following a stellar playing career, Linda completed her NCPP Level 3 certificate under Brenda Willis in 1995 and accepted a job as intramural supervisor at Guelph University. That year she also took over coaching the Griffins women's volleyball team, a role she held until 2004. During this time, Linda would lead the team to two OUA division titles with two bronze and two silver medals at the Provincials. The two silver medals in 2000 and 2004 are still the best finish by a Griffins women's volleyball team in their history. Linda would continue working at the university after leaving the volleyball team, first as the client service supervisor in IT until 2005, and then as the manager of finance and operations of the athletic department until 2015. While holding these roles, she was able to finish a Master's of Arts in Leadership in 2008, an executive program at Guelph. In the mid-2000s, Linda stepped into provincial level coaching, holding roles with provincial A and B teams before being named as Team Ontario coach for the Canada Games in 2005 a job she unfortunately had to withdraw from for family reasons. When her daughters Corey and Robin were beginning their volleyball playing careers, Linda began working with the Guelph Grizzlies Volleyball Club. Beginning in 2008, she would help the club first as a coach and later on their board of directors from 2010 to 2016. In 2016, Linda would move to Kingston, Ontario to take on the role of Director of Finance and Administration at Queen's University. Moving into the role of Interim Director of Business Development in 2021, and on to Executive Director of Athletics and Recreation with the Gales in 2022. While in these roles, she was also a team performance coach with the Smith School of Business from 2018 to 2022. Currently, Linda is working on completing her PhD in Management and Organizational Leadership at the Lang School of Business and Economics, where her dissertation focuses on the professionalism of amateur sport organizations. While in her role at Queen's, Linda still found time to coach at the club level, first with Limestone Volleyball's 15U Girls in 2016-2017, and later with the Ottawa Mavericks 18U Broncos for the 2017-2018 season. Ever one to add on to her responsibilities, Linda has held on to many administrative roles within both the collegiate and provincial volleyball governing bodies. She was the OUA Women's Volleyball Convener from 2012 to 2016, the CIS Technical Chair from 2013 to 2015. First as the Vice President of Operations on the Board of Directors, and in 2014 she would take over as President a role she would hold until 2016, where she would be heavily involved in strategic planning, financial reform, and the governance committee. Her influence on the game of volleyball in Ontario is widespread, multifaceted, and ever-growing. She has committed herself in a podium-filling playing career, an extensive coaching career at many levels of play, and has given back through administrative roles. These are qualities that have separated her into the Legends category. Linda has previously been awarded the OVA 2002 Recognition Award and the 2016 Achievement Award. In 2003, Linda was awarded the OUA Coach of the Year Award and the OUA Fox 40 Coach of the Year for the best coach in all of OUA sports. She was recently named a member of the Stratford Hall of Fame, and this year adds another Hall of Fame to her extensive resume. We are proud to induct Linda Melnick into the OVA Hall of Fame as a Ferlani legend as part of the Class of 2023. Good evening. I'd like to start by thanking the Ontario Volleyball Association and all those who have participated in this recognition. The Anton Ferlani Achievement Award, celebrating volunteers in Ontario volleyball, is a prestigious list of individuals that I'm very honoured to be a part of. Upon receiving this award, I spent some time reflecting over the last 30-35 years of my involvement in volleyball and would just simply like to share that it's the people that have been so meaningful in my experience. The connections, the levels of engagement, the resiliency, the ability to strive for excellence has made volunteering time and dedicating um, a long career, I would say, both professionally and personally to the growth of the sport has made it so meaningful and worthwhile. I hope to engage with those of you who are around, who are in the room today, 
and I truly apologize for not being able to be there. Um, but I'm excited to be part of my, my own daughter's uh, graduation ceremony in, in Halifax this evening. I wish you all an enjoyable evening and look forward to connecting.